So for this project, I'm going to use my three LED. That is the red, an amber, and a green LED. I will also need three resistors, which are one kilo ohm each. We also need some chamber wires. This will connect the Arduino to the external breadboard. Last three but not the least, we have the breadboard and our Arduino Uno. I'm going to start by connecting my LEDs to this external board or this external breadboard. I will start with the red LED, then I will follow with this amber LED, and lastly I will put the green LED. Notice that all of my ground pins are connected on this line, so that I can put my resistors across this other anode pin. So the next step is now putting on the resistors through the anode pins of each LED. So each LED is protected by this one kilo ohm resistor. So I'm going to connect now the ground pin from the Arduino. So let me zoom in this is the ground pin as you can see here so i'm going to connect this pin and connect it on my ground pin like that then let me zoom in so i'm going to connect now pin one to the red led and I can use pin 7 and connect it to the amber LED. Then I will use pin 12 to connect the green LED. Like that. So, what I'm going to digitalize on these pins, I'm going to mark the numbers that I gave this LED. So, the red LED is on pin 1. The amber LED is on pin 7 and the green LED is on pin 13. I went to the Google and searched on how a traffic light works. So as you can see, we will start first by turning the red LED. Then we will follow the red LED and the amber LED will be on. Then the green LED will go on. Then the amber LED will go on again and we go, we go back to the red LED and that is my cable and let's plug this to the Arduino and into my computer or my laptop so yes like that so everything is connected and now it's time to write up the code so when you open your Arduino ID this is what you find. Up here is where we will define our variables. And in this case, our variables are the red LED, the amber, and the green LED. Then on the void setup, we are going to declare the pins. That is the pin we have connected the red, amber, and green LEDs, either as an input or an output. But for our case, they are both or outputs. Then in the void loop, here's where you write your main code. So, uh, I will start by declaring the first LED, which is red. Then, I've connected it to pin 2. We put the semicolon. Then, int. We have the amper. which is connected to pin 7 semicolon we have int then the green green and it's connected at pin 13 semicolon now we are done with that now we come to the void setup so here the program you write here will be executed once so here we are going to write pin mode we open and close bracket semicolon then we want to start by 
declaring the red LED as an output like that then we are going to copy this copy here and we are going to paste it there then there then change here from red to amper like that then change this as well to green like that now it's time to write our code so here's where I write your main code so let's do this so what do we want to turn on first so we want to digital right so digital right so when we digital right we are setting an high signal to the pin we are going to select so we open close and we want to start by turning on the red LED and we send a high signal so we are going to copy this we are going to use it right there then as you remember when we turn on the red LED the amber LED will come on after some time so we need to delay so we open code column so let's put a four second delay so that's four thousand milliseconds in second place then after that now we want to uh, let's paste this so we want to digital right now the amber led or send a high signal to the amber led like that then after some time so we need to give it maybe a delay of four seconds as well so we open close and we put for thousand milliseconds that's four seconds so after that duration we want to turn both the red led and the amber led off then turn on the green led so that is the first one then now here instead of sending a high signal we're going to send a low signal so we put the low then we paste again then we are going to change this to amper like that and we're going also to turn it off so we're going to send the low signal then now we move to the next command which is now we have turned off the red led and the amber led we want to turn on the green led immediately after all these ones go off so we are going to let's paste this we are now going to digital right the green LED so green and we send a high signal then let's say we want it to stay on for four seconds as well we open close semicolons remember you will need to put these semicolons when you're going to compile your code you're going to encounter some error so 4000 milliseconds is to prevent the four seconds then after that duration we want to turn on the amber led and turn off the green led so let's paste that so we are going to digital right the green led green led and we want to turn it off so we're going to send a low signal then after that we want without a delay to turn on the amper led to signal that 
now we are almost going to stop so control v then we send an high signal to the anchor led then now this one we can keep it a delay of let's say three seconds so open close semicolon then without three seconds it's equivalent to three seconds now after this delay of three seconds we want to turn off the amper LED so we're going to control V so we are going now to turn off this amper LED that then we're going to send a low signal to the amper LED and now without any delay we are going now to go again to this to this first code here so let's compile and download you can save this for maybe later I'll compile and download the program and see how it works so it's compiling everything is okay no errors and let's see what we get after uploading the code so the code has been uploaded and, and as you can see the LED LED will turn on wait for 4 seconds turn on the amber LED after 3 seconds they both go off turn the green LED on the amper LED will turn on again to signal a stop then the loop continues as you can see guys I hope you found this video educated to you and let me know what you think in the comment section thanks for watching